Trigger Spoons, Trigger Spoon Magnums, Trigger Spoon Pros, Trigger Spoon Juniors, Speed Spoons, Speed Spoon Pros. Looking for spoons for your trout fishing adventure? Think FHS Spoons. You can check them out at fishhuntshoot.com. Here. I'm up at uh, Jackson Meadows Reservoir today. I'm up at 6,200 feet and it is June 23rd. Um, kind of a unique situation here. There are some very large trout in this lake. There's a big steep wall I want to fish on the other side of the lake. So I'm going to speed troll kind of through the main body. Um, I'm going to pull this um, I'm gonna pull this big trigger spoon magnum off the downrigger. Um, I'm going to troll quickly, two and a half miles an hour or so. I'm going to cut right across the main body. And then when I get over on this wall that I want to fish, it's, it's kind of a classic spot for, you know, big predators, deep water, lots of contours. There was lots of bait over there last time I was there. Um, I was up here with Wes Ward a couple weeks ago. Um, we landed one big fish there. We lost two big fish there. So I want to get on that wall as, as soon as possible and uh, just really work that area hard for the first couple couple hours of the day. So let me get this big trigger in the water and uh, we will get underway. Okay, we're just approaching that spot I was talking about. Basically, we've got about a quarter mile long ridge here, very steep. Um, it continues to be steep as it enters the lake. There's a lot of side contours. There's rock slides down trees, stuff like that. So it's a very fishy area. It's a place where I've hooked big fish before. Um, and I beelined right over here. Of course, it took me about 30 minutes in the kayak. That's one of the, one of the drawbacks of, of kayak fishing. But this is a pretty good tip. If you hit a lake and you've got an area that that you just have a strong feeling about, maybe it's a place where you've caught big fish, maybe it's a, a place where you've you've marked a lot of fish, maybe it's just the structure or the look of it. There's something about that spot, man. It just rings your bell. You know, it's a it's a place where you expect action or it's a place where you've had action. Um, when you start out the day, start on those kinds of spots. Go to your highest percentage spots first and put in a little time there and you might find out that you don't have to go anywhere else. I don't like to be tied to certain spots for the long term if my, if my, you know, my honey holes aren't producing. I'll go look for fish, but it only makes sense to start out the day in the areas where you feel you have the highest percentage chance of success and you really want to seek out those areas that have the kinds of features that attract, you know, big predators, whether they're rainbow trout, cutthroat trout, brown trout, you know, king salmon, whatever. You want to find those areas that have those kinds of features that attract, you know, big fish that are looking to feed. You want structure, you want immediate access to deep water, and uh, I've always found good action, you know, on places that have a pretty kind of vertical feature to them because the fish, when they are feeding on bait, they're able to crowd that bait up along, you know, that, that steep bank. And uh, it's just really an attractive spot for predators to cruise, you know, looking to hunt, looking to pin bait fish up along the bank. So anyway, we're just starting into an area like that right now. Um, got my fingers crossed. I'm hoping for success here. We'll see what happens, but that's a good tip to remember. Next time you hit your favorite lake, Beeline to those high percentage spots, work those first, and only go hunting, only go exploring if you have to. Anyway, I'm Kel Kellogg. I'm signing off for now. I will catch you right back here on YouTube real soon. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe, please do hit that bell notification too. You'll always know when I'm on here talking fishing. And if you're looking for gear, fishhuntshoot.com. Check out my store. Thanks, guys. I'm Kel Kellogg. I am signing off. Later.